Well, it may be over. Taylor Swift has endorsed Kamala Harris. Now, I'm not kidding, although I am not personally a fan of Taylor Swift's music. I very much respect the fact that she takes a political risk to say what she believes. She did it when she endorsed Biden previously, and she's doing it again. And right wingers are absolutely furious. Good for Taylor Swift announcing after the debate in a picture with a cat. She would be endorsing Kamala Harris. She said, like many of you, I watched the debate tonight. If you haven't already, now is a great time to do your research on the issues at hand and the stances these candidates take on the topics that matter to you the most. As a voter, I make sure to watch and read everything I can about their proposed policies and plans for this country. Recently, I was made aware that AI of quote me falsely endorsing Donald Trump's presidential run was posted to his site. It really conjured up my fears around AI and the dangers of spreading misinformation. It brought me to the conclusion that I need to be very transparent about my actual plans for this election as a voter. The simplest way to combat misinformation is with the truth. I will be casting my vote for Kamala Harris and Tim Walls in the 2024 election. I'm voting for Kamala Harris because she fights for the rights and causes I believe need a warrior to champion them. I think she's a steady handed, gifted leader, and I believe we can accomplish so much more in this country if we are led by calm and not chaos. I was so heartened and impressed by her selection of running mate Tim Walls, who has been standing up for LGBTQ rights, IBF and women's right to uh, and a woman's right to her own body for decades. I've done my research and I've made my choice. Your research is all yours to do and the choice is yours to make. I also want to say, especially to first time voters, remember that in order to vote, you have to be registered. I also find it's much easier to vote early. I'll link where to register and find early voting dates and info in my story with love and hope. Taylor, you know, what's brilliant about this is that while I believe she was eventually going to make this endorsement regardless, she is actually suggesting I'm doing this because those MAGA people made a fake AI version of me supposedly endorsing Trump. So now I'm telling you I'm actually endorsing Kamala Harris, sort of hitting them with the you brought this on yourself and my real endorsement of Kamala Harris will do so much more to hurt Trump than your fake endorsement of what it looked like me endorsing Donald Trump was. Uh, I think that this is absolutely a great thing. Uh, there is huge cultural cachet right now for Taylor Swift. And I do think it's also important to point out um, that while there is a risk to Taylor Swift of speaking out like this, it doesn't really seem to hurt her. She spoke out and endorsed Biden in 2020 and then had one of the most successful concerts in American history. But let's talk about that next because Donald Trump is not happy with this at all.